That was Jamie at the Western Wall in Jerusalem praying for you. In fact, every time Jamie and I go to the Israel, we stand at the famous Kotel or Western Wall. It's the last remaining part of the great temple in Jerusalem where the God of Israel dwelt among his people. He dwelt there visibly in the Kodesh HaKadoshim, the most holy place, also known as the Holy of Holies. And Neil, that's where we want to take our viewers today, into the Kodesh HaKadoshim to experience the presence of the living God. That presence, which Moses saw at the burning bush, accompanied God's people in the wilderness following their departure from Egypt. It, actually he, mm -hmm. dwelt among the Israelites in a tabernacle, a movable sanctuary that God gave Moses the blueprints for. And here's what it looked like. This reproduction of the tabernacle in the wilderness is the creation of our good friend and Middle Eastern scholar, Dr. Randy Smith. It is located by the Dead Sea in Israel in the Judean wilderness on Kibbutz al -Mug. It's a very authentic location and it has been meticulously researched and constructed with biblical accuracy. I was fascinated to learn that over 50 chapters of the Bible deal with the tabernacle more than any other single biblical subject, yes. Neil. And that tells me that the tabernacle is very, very important, important to God yeah. and that there are important things for us to learn from it. And the first thing that impresses me about the tabernacle is the detailed way in which the Israelites worship God according to a pattern given to Moses by the Lord on Mount Sinai God had a prescribed way to come to him. 